What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new newsletter that came out the other day. This one is called Updated SWAT Models, brought to us by the very generous Guinevere, the community manager at Void Interactive. So let's go ahead and get into it. It starts off with saying, hey everyone, it's time for the 20th bi-weekly briefing for Ready or Not, where we'll be taking a look at the updated models for the game SWAT officers. Ooh, cool. Curious to see what they look like. It continues on to say, updated SWAT character models. Over the course of Ready or Not's development, we've iterated upon the look of the SWAT team several times. For a tactical police shooter, it is imperative that your teammates' appearance fit the setting, are easily distinguishable, and honestly, are stylish. We've worked hard to bring these concepts to life, and are excited to show off what we have. One of the benefits of the new SWAT officer models is that they're highly customizable, allowing us to easily place the kit of a specific character from your squad anywhere on the model itself. No two officers in your squad will look the same. Interesting. That's... That's actually kind of cool. So you're saying that I could actually place like a bag of medical supplies anywhere on the SWAT officer? That would be nuts. Kind of like how Ground Branch has their uh, system where you could put like a magazine anywhere on the body like that. Or is it going to be like more intuitive? Like say I've got this knife. Can I put it on my shoulder? Can I put it on my leg? Can I put it on my chest? Like just how intuitive is this going to be? Because if it is that intuitive, that's pretty legit. I'm a sucker for customization and this is just right up my alley. If it really is what they say it is. But anyways, in the media below, you'll be looking at a sneak preview of Ready or Not's updated SWAT models in action and in different environments. All right, let's take a look at these clips here. So basically what I'm going to show off first here is the little clip and then we're going to compare it from the old to the original and then we're going to talk about it, like what's been added and what looks different. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, now we're going to attempt a comparison, and I want to thank uh, St. Jerry for helping me out on this one. He's a subscriber that comes around every now and then, so uh, let's get into it. And that was about as close as me and St. Jerry could get it without using some sort of theater mode. But yeah, you can definitely tell that there is a difference. Not only in the character model, but also its movements. Alright, so before we move on to the last thing here, I kind of want to analyze this little clip because I felt like there was a lot of new things that we kind of missed. So let's go ahead and uh, analyze this bad boy. So the video opens up with the SWAT officer moving into uh, the Weverly Hotel on the left side, I believe. This is actually further down the road than what I remembered. You can see a lot of graffiti on the walls here and just how dirty the streets of California look. Man, they seriously need to freaking update these sidewalks and streets. The SWAT officer himself is holding an M4 with a suppressor and possibly an EOTech or a hollow sight. He has a breaching shotgun on his back there, which I believe is called the M870, if I'm not mistaken. But he's walking towards the Weverly Hotel. And then the next shot shows that he's staring at this one picture here, and the camera is moving around him left to right. And you could just barely see that he's holding a weapon right there. If I had to guess, that pistol is probably a M9, most likely. Kind of looks like an M9. 
mind, so I'm just gonna go with that. Still has a breaching shotgun on his back. I can't tell what his main weapon is. But then it cuts to the next scene here where we have a shotgun with a couple of new attachments that aren't in the game just yet. Uh, it looks like we've got a brand new suppressor of some kind, new flashlight, and a reflex sight. And uh, I think there's also, I think someone called it in my Discord, a Trijicon sight, a Trijicon sight or something like that. I don't remember those being there. But yeah, if you want to let me know what those are down in the comment section, go ahead and, you know, let me know. We're going to push on here. If there's anything that I would like to say is kind of interesting about this model, it's that there are these two new, like, red things that are right there. And I think a lot of people were trying to figure out what those are. The first thing we think is probably glow sticks, but red glow sticks? I mean, usually we're using, like, green ones. There's a patch that's next to it that says zero pos or o pos. When I saw that, I was thinking, wait, is this, like, blood? O positive? Or maybe it's just a flare? Not entirely sure, but it's interesting to see these. That's definitely new. I don't remember a big walkie-talkie being on this guy before. Maybe I'm just blind. I remember, like, seeing, like, uh, the walkie-talkie that, that you have on the shoulder, but not the actual talkie itself, you know? I don't know. I'm not even sure what the hell it's called. Then it cuts to the next scene here where you can see him holding out the shotgun. Nothing too significant here. Although, I don't, I'm not sure where this area is that he's inside of here. It looks like the training ground, but it could also be the hotel. I'm not entirely sure if everything is shot in the hotel. They don't exactly tell us. Unless they do. Hold on. No, it doesn't actually tell us just yet, but uh, they are saying that these models are still a work in progress, so... I mean, they already look good as it is, to be honest, but to make them look better is, would be great. But moving on here. It cuts to him looking the other direction this time, and we see him just like looking that way. Nothing too crazy going on here. Same shotgun, same reflex sights. Nothing worth a note. Then we get a zoom up of the, the holster here on his side, which I believe carries an M9, and it definitely does look different from what's actually currently in the game. Like, this one looks like a more plastic one, and the other one that was in the game looks more leather. But anyways, moving on, we got an over-the-shoulder shot of the SWAT officer. The camera's going over his shoulder and looking at a dead guy here, which is a cartel member, because uh, generally cartel members are, you know, wear red things. Anything with red on them. He just shot this guy. And then the last scene here is you seeing a SWAT officer looking at what looks like a picture behind arcs. I think that's what you call them. Or arches, I believe. He is holding a S a58 which is currently in the game too i believe and you see a bunch of dead people just lying around i believe there's two cartel members on the right there and one and one person with a yellow shirt on i believe that might just be a regular civilian now we actually see a white supremacist member on the ground to the right there his ak is right there how you know he's a, a white supremacist is because uh, the white supremacists in this area were like a jean t-shirt i'm not sure if that's how you call them and they're the ones that are holding like ak's and stuff so yeah that was that if there was anything that i missed then let me know because we're gonna go ahead and finish up the news letter here. So after this video, they have a picture of the brand new heavy armor, which yes, this is definitely an overhaul when you compare it to the previous one that we have. Like the previous one just has like the shoulder mounted stuff that goes kind of around the neck, but this one right here just makes it look like they completely redid everything. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see if they got anything to say about this. Given how frequently the player will be viewing SWAT character models, it is imperative that they are held at a high standard of quality that serves to immerse the player in the game. Variations between light, heavy, or even no armor allows for more diversity between players in cooperative play and in the single player career mode. Neat. In conclusion, this concludes our 20th bi-weekly briefing, and that's pretty much the newsletter. So what are your guys' thoughts? I think that these character models look cool, you know, but I, I don't know, I feel like they didn't really need to be changed because I thought the ones that were here previously looked okay, but I don't know, you tell me. Do you like the changes or do you think it's wasted effort or... Let me know. One last thing before we go, over on their Twitter they released a brand new tweet which is called Stack Up Flesh and Clear on your go element showing about five SWAT officers I'm not sure if this is a uh, co-op or single player I'm going to assume single player because I don't see any name tags above their heads but they're stacking up on two walls here getting ready to push into what looks like that room that has the vehicle on fire in the hotel map the guy on the front right there has a less than lethal shotgun this guy looks like he has a FAL I can't tell the guns are across the way though I'm just going to assume that they're both in fours on the right I can't really tell but yeah pretty neat little uh, post they put there just thought I'd cover that because you know they usually come out with like a tweet and it's not really worth making a video over you know so uh yeah if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like radio now then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel stick around and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye